Okay, welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I apologize if the noise levels for the past few episodes have been a little off kilter. My uh, microphone stand had a bolt break or some, some form of the arm is broken, so it's now... The amount of your solar slower. sails oh, has reached God. a certain scale, and they have formed a Dyson swarm around the star. You should be able to clearly see it right now. To receive That's such true. energy, you have built a ray receiver to absorb the transmission where Dyson Swarm can generate power simultaneously. Every solar sail launched for a certain life cycle. If you want to maintain the Dyson Swarm, you have to continue on injecting the solar sails. I have heard that. A lot of people have said that. Okay, so... We have those three all in the same orbit. One and two. Let's kick one over to three. We'll, we'll put two of them on three. And you can stay on two. We're probably going to want to make more of those pretty soon, but we're not quite there yet. Okay, so we are generating photons from all these, I believe, right? Yes, cool. Okay, so first things first, let's find some more technology to be making. Looks like we could do the drone sphere stress system, or the yeah, Dyson sphere stress system, rather. And we also have this controlled annihilation reaction. Ooh, that looks cool. That is something we could very easily make. That, not as much, obviously, but I think that's going to maybe be more helpful than the universe matrix immediately. Yeah. So let's let's do this. This seems interesting to me. We'll just kind of start cranking through that, and we'll queue this up. Actually, let's queue this up, and then we'll queue this up. Boom. Okay. Good. Looks like we did have some of the surplus there. Okay. So. I believe where we left off. I wanted to go look at hydrogen production on our home planet because we know that uh, hydrogen is going to be a pretty big blocker if we are not rolling in the hydrogen, so to speak. Um, I believe, uh, well, actually, that's not true. I know that we have an opportunity to optimize our hydrogen production. The reason I know that is because I spent 10 or 15 minutes doing that just prior to now before I realized I loaded into an old save somehow and uh, that was not going to be productive. So, fortunately, I can tell you that right over here, we are now seeing uh, a lack of deuterium, right? Because we have product stacking for lack of material on most of these, which is frustrating. I do want us to get to a product stacking point. The good thing is that we've actually, okay, you know what, actually, let's just, there we go. Actually, boom, now, We'll get to more product stacking here. I don't think this is going to be a huge issue. We have so many fuel rods. It's not getting, we have thousands and thousands of fuel rods. I don't know how many are held in a storage box. If anyone knows that off the top of their head, please let me know. But it's it's clearly an absurd, absurd amount. So this at least let us start to get to the product stacking we're looking for. And so let us actually build up a set of deuterium, which is super important, right? Are there any other, I mean, do we want to turn more of our facilities on. What I don't understand is actually why we're not getting very much hydrogen in here at all. That seems to be problematic. Oh, other thing I wanted to do is fix this. Yeah, we're not going to do this anymore. We don't need the power. Uh, well, let me check to make sure before I say that. Yeah, we don't, we're not even close on the power units here. So we're going to get rid of all that. And we're probably going to use this a little bit differently. Oh, it's nighttime. I feel like that never happens anymore. We also haven't been on our home planet for a while, so... Okay, this is a few other optimizations I made earlier too that I liked. Um, I'm gonna cut a few of those out, most of those, and then just take a simpler approach to how we're storing oil here. Uh, we're just gonna use the one, and then we're gonna bring this over here. This is gonna go in here, and this is gonna go up and out here. I don't think we need more than one, to be honest with you. Um, and this oil should be going out all of these. I think that's, hopefully that's, yeah, flowing out this way. Perfect. Okay. Other thing we were going to fix is we're deleting this tree because it gets in my way and it bothers me. Uh, we're going to lower that. And then, uh, whoops, we have some oil on us. So this is an awesome new quality of life feature. I don't know who the dev was that put this in, but thank you so much for doing this. You can just directly dump liquids into storage tanks now. Huge quality of life feature. Much appreciated. Okay, other things that we're doing. I'm remembering everything that, uh, ooh, actually, hold up. What's going on here? Empty chest, don't mind if I do. This is graphene. Let's hit it there, graphite, rather. Right? Yeah, graphite. 
I'll head up this way and over here. I think all that graphite. Interesting. We're not even acting on it over here. This is stacked up. So we're just sending graphene. I wonder if it'd be easier to actually route it somewhere else. There's not a over there, but all of our graphene is just on such an epic journey over here. Do we have anything else around here that we can route it into? No, no, no. I almost might just put like a local connection here, honestly, because it's such a huge, yeah. This is probably an egregious waste of uh, something like this, but you know what? That's okay. We got plenty of other natural resources here, so if we end up needing to wrap anything else, we can. But I'm going to dismantle this right here, and we are literally just going to throw a local system back one, so I can line this up a little bit. There we go. And we're literally just going to run this in here because it feels like a waste to me. Nope. Go. Put this back. And we can connect this up. We should be in a good spot. There we go. Set you to our energetic graphite here. Dump all our graphite in here. And do we have any drones with us? We got a few drones. Alright, like here. Let's take maybe half of these. Eh. So now, the nice part about this is that we can get rid of all of this infrastructure. Uh, oh, oops. let's run power over here really quickly. There we go. This is just going to be a graphite area, but that should make lives way easier with a lot of this stuff. Totally remove that now. I need to fix this little bump here. I don't know if that really matters, honestly, but this helps me. <laughs> these, and that means we can get rid of this. So the one thing this does mean that we'll have to change is, and then we can get rid of this, and get rid of this. Oh my gosh, so much infrastructure we can just work out of here. Okay, so the one thing we will have to change is uh, we now have to run a different energetic graphite line down here. So what I'm going to do is let that just kind of slowly fade out there. But we'll run a line from over here, which should still be exponentially faster. There we go. Here and down here. Yeah. So does it end up saving like all the time in the world? No. But does it end up saving enough time that it's worth it? Or enough space, rather. I think so. Let's finish this up over here. Perfect. Okay. And this is set to... Probably set it to the local demand, but then we'll kick this down. Uh, it doesn't really... Honestly, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't need to be fully stocked or anything like that. Okay. Let's see how this one is doing over here. This all seems to be going okay. So the other thing I was saying that we probably need to do, and I don't I guess this is helpful or something, but um, the other thing we want to do is maybe set up a large cracking facility here. Because you'll notice that right now, all of the hydrogen that's being produced from our cracking, pro uh, actually here, I'm about to have this conversation, but realistically what we want to do is actually make sure that we have enough uh, cracking stations set up that we can actually do this. So let's get that. Uh, Get rid of a few things here that we don't need. Um, those are valuable, so I'm gonna hold on to that. Anything else that's just like a small unit that we don't need? Um, well, here, let's go throw a few things in our trunk drawer. Um, put those in there. Uh, most of this stuff is actually still relatively valuable. Uh, put that in there. Take this out. Okay, so we actually still have 16. I think we'll be okay. Let's dump the fraction meters really quickly. Get another slot there. And I think we'll be a good spot. Oh, that's cool. Let's see how two, two really nicely from here. Okay. And we have this little storage right here just for our extra fraction meters, which are right here. There we go. Close that. Sort those out. Nice. Okay. 
So we're going to make another fraction here. Not fraction here. Jesus. Oil refinery facility here. I just want to take a look. It's been a while since I set up the last one. So I just want to take a look at how this is set up right now. We'll set it up for extra cracking. So when we do this, our output is hydrogen and graphite. What I think could be nice is to actually use each... Hmm. The tricky part here is that it's not an obvious in and out. Well, it is, actually. The question would be... First of all, we can run them all in a straight line. What I'm considering doing now is actually running two lines of each. So we could run like a hydrogen down here and then just have it output to two lines like this. So that might make it a little bit easier to set these lineups because then you could just line them all the way down. And I think that makes the most sense to me. So I'm gonna pull these out. But I think we also wanna have our output go this way. We'll route everything in there. You know, now I feel pretty dumb because if we had just left this graphite one up here, we could run graphite up, up along here. Actually, I don't think that's a bad idea. Well, no, we'll just run the graphite out and over. So basically exactly what we were doing earlier. But actually, we could just burn the graphite. I guess we don't really need it, do we? Maybe we'll, we'll consider maybe doing that. Um, okay, so what I would like to do is probably leave this here. We'll have to figure this out later. Um, but I think let's leave this here for now because outputting from here and going up there. So I think we should be okay. Interesting. It's actually storing all the way up. Do we have a surplus of fuel now somehow? I don't know. I guess because we were burning a lot of it. <laughs> but, okay, so let us move this a little bit closer. I'm going to delete that and we're going to back this up a little bit. So now I want to set up a line that's going to go straight there and a line right next to it. Send this through. This can go all the way through. And we are going to have one line coming down here and a line coming down here. This line is not going to allow hydrogen, only allow fuel. Let's grab that up. This line is only going to allow hydrogen, but we are going to, yeah, and we're going to prioritize this line, actually. There we go. Okay. Uh, that's weird. I don't think that should work that way. All right, well, let's do that, then, because it doesn't really matter. Hydrogen's the only thing coming out here. All right. So, now, run this down that way. I think this will be a little bit cool. Okay. Not out. Dump that in there. Okay. And then this should just start automatically dumping this oil. I just want to make sure that that's the intended behavior. We did install a mod to be able to do that. Um, so thank you uh, for the heads up on that. And that should mean that this is just automatically going to get dumped versus our lines backing. So let's just double check really quick and make sure this is working properly. Beautiful. That looks pretty solid. Yep, just seeing everything run in here, but not a problem. Cool. So we just have this excess oil now. Um, we will need, you know what, let's just figure that out. We don't really need that. Put the rest of that in there. Cool. So this will just have to be rerouted. Well, actually here, let's run a line right now, just in case, because I'm going to forget. We'll run a line right there, so that we don't have to worry about oil production coming down here. So all that. Dump it back into one of these. Okay, so now, let's move these up a little bit. I don't know why we have these towers right here. Uh, okay, cool. There we go. It's like marginally better. Probably not really. Um, interesting. This line is not going to get... Alright, well here, let's just get rid of it then. And dump all of that over here. Beautiful. Okay. So now a little bit more together. Actually, let's throw our excess hydrogen in here. If that is problematic. Okay, there we go. Get the rest of that. Sort it up. Nice. All right, so we're going to bring these two lines together here. Let's actually do that with this one. Back that up. There we go here. 
costs a little bit of that extra in. Just trying to be very good about that. Okay. So let's run this down here. I don't know how long we can run these. Let's just do a little sample right now. Run this down here. And for our oil, we'll just start. So the one problem is that this is not a super efficient use of space. Actually, I already made it. All right, we'll just, we'll run the individual lines out. I don't care that much. This will still work just fine, yeah. But then, actually, we can't do it that way, but yeah, there we go. You just have to leave room every now and then. So let's think about this. Let's actually leave two spaces. I don't know exactly how this optimization works, but let's try leaving enough space for two, because then we can actually split the materials out on two different belts. So we'll actually do it the same way that we do it over on the other side of things. We'll pull this, we'll pull this all the way out here, actually, I think, and go as close as possible to there. So we can go. Yep, there we go. So then we'll run our hydrogen just directly out like this. Connect up the hydrogen as that loop. And then we'll run our graphene on the inner loop. And I think we'll probably have to make some weird connections and whatnot, but we can make that work. We don't want to go all the way out here, though. We're going to want to mix this up a little bit. You know what? It's going to be easier to just put another planetary station here. That was the only other thing I was thinking. So we could just do hydrogen and graphene right here. That might be a lot easier. You know what? Again, I'm just going to do it. It's going to be easier. Let's just do it now. It's easier than trying to fix it later. Oh, well, it's fine if it's that close. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so now let's basically run the same route. Up here. Oops. And in. Go around down here. And in. Accept hydrogen. And. Where? Nope. There we go. And then, maybe just run one back loop right here. The other thing we could have done is upgraded this into a planetary and held graphing there as well. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think that is a better idea. But we don't want to dismantle that right away because that has a lot of things in it. So, let us instead... This. Uh, yeah, we'll just do this. Actually, you know what? We have a ton of storage here. Let's just... Oh, and then we can pick it all up, though, I think, right? Oh, can't hold it. I see. Problematic. Okay, that's all right. We'll put it all back in a second. Lines of something. There we go. <clears throat> Listen. Listen. You probably need to be explicitly told that you can hold these. There we go. here. Alright, so now, ah, I see. Some of these in. Glitter again. This is an interesting mechanic. I'm, I'm not sure, again, how I feel about it, but now that I understand how it works a little bit better, I'm more into it than I was. Because it makes this, like, the right level of onerous to have to be able to do this, you know? And that's what I get, honestly, for probably not having a ton of storage space right now. Oops. I only have, like, this one loop. But you know what? It's not the end of the world. Oh, there we go. Anything else to clean up? Control Annihilation. Gotta love it. 
Okay. I think we'll walk me up here. Set the limit screw down here. We'll actually walk on this side. Nice. So now we can just run everything here. I think let's actually shift these over just a little bit. Um, we'll run this one actually here. Perfect example to use the bolts, slowest belts. Could do is actually just remove that entirely and keep this running straight in there. But then pull this back just a little bit. Get some hydrogen out of here. I don't actually think this is a better, more efficient use or a way to do this, but it's a little bit cleaner. If we need this spot, we can always basically do exactly what we were doing earlier um, and just divert from this. If we need to. Actually, you know what? Let's just do that again. We know it's going to be better. Pull that out. We'll actually run this down here. Down here. Over there. And pull this out here. And use this as an end cap right here. Boom. Boom. favor that direction. So make sure cool. all of those good, 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 good. Okay. Separate all that. Not that it matters, but alright. Oh, interesting. It actually does matter. Alright, well let's downgrade that whole level then. But the whole point is hopefully we'll have way more hydrogen. Actually, the ironic thing is we're not going to be running this hydrogen line at all because most of this hydrogen is going to be coming down here anyway, so. Alright. Let's run another line here just so we can kind of get a feel for what this is going to look like. Here we go here. Because this is where it's going to start getting a little bit tricky. So now we have this, and this needs to get to the outside level. So maybe, actually, let's not pull this all the way out like we have here. We'll do the same way that we did these, where everything's running into close and far um, blocks here. How do we do that? Ooh, see, we only had one line come down, and we just split it out. Yeah, see, I think that's smarter. You know what? We were smarter back in the day, weren't we? All right, so then we'll put two right here. One space here. So the idea is basically that then we'll pull right into splitters here. We can even get a little bit closer. There we go. Alright. Do the same thing up here. My only concern is about the velocity of things actually coming out, but we'll see how that goes. Here, the idea would be that this will filter out only. Ah, actually, here, let's look at what is the output is two hydrogens to one oil. So I think we'll want to split the hydrogen out on the back loop. I don't actually know if that counts. So let's split it on the front loop and see what happens. Um, okay. actually don't need the second set, do we? Oh, we just need the first set. There we go. Okay. So all these will just go out to here. I think we can probably just... Actually, what we should do, let's go the other way. This will go out here. So we'll have all the oil running down this way. Nope, that was not far enough. Cool. Alright. And 
this will run out here. This will run, yep, we got here. And then, yeah, so then we'll just have to have it bounce over at some point. Uh, unless, actually, we send all the oil in this direction too. Or, sorry, all the. down. Same deal. So close. So come out here. No. Okay. It's a little bit easier to plan it this way, I think, because that way you already know where your endpoints are. Alright. And then I'm just going to have to change this so this is not only that's hydrogen only. Perfect. Okay. Let's start gearing this up a little bit just for our proof of concept. We'll do our outputs first. There. There. Oops. Oh, too close. That could be problematic. I've never seen that. Can we back it up? It's going to collide. Uh, okay. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Frustrating. Alright, well, it's okay. Come on. Just back it all out for Low and steady, apparently. Okay. There we go. Obnoxious, but it should work hopefully. There we go. There we go. This down. And this down. Now, hook our filters up again. Beautiful. It's going to come down there. It's going to come up there. It's going to come down there. Boom. Cool. Alright. So, that's splitting out hydrogen. This is splitting out hydrogen. Awesome. Uh, oh, now they disconnected. That would have been a very short term. Okay. Can do that. Awesome. Okay. Seems to be working just fine. Awesome. So the one other thing we're going to do over here is actually break that really quickly. Switch that over here. And then we are going to build a little safeguard here. Um, now, we get there. We are going to run into graphene issue or graphite issues, rather. I expect it doesn't have to be quite yet. Actually, let's. Is this full now? Okay. Let's turn this off. I'm going to make it very obvious that I did that. There we go. Just check that. But I want to be super, super clear that we are not producing hydrogen, or sorry, not producing graphene over there, graphite, whatever, whatever the heck it's called. Uh, and we'll make this our primary graphite production facility. Uh, okay, so then I like to kind of put them right at the ends here. Show. All right, copy this. Go here. Now, we are filtering priority down here. Interesting. So these don't actually take nearly as much hydrogen as I expected they might. We'll see. We'll see how efficiently this works. Okay. 
this will work okay. Uh, oh, man, it's not gonna let me. Okay. So let's actually build out the rest of these, and then then we'll put on our side channels here. I think this is probably the kind of stuff where you might want to start pulling in some mods that'll make this kind of factory templating easier. We're doing this a little bit old school, but depending on how many of these we have to do, I could totally understand how you might want to speed this up. This is where you can really make some mistakes if you don't set these up correctly. So definitely make sure you're just double checking these as you go through and do that. Okay. So now, I'm about to find out if you're making mistakes. Nicely. We're still at zero, obviously. We're gonna get that actually. But it seems like things are going okay. So this is really the problem here, and this is why I didn't really want to do this this way. Let's do that would kind of get blocked up. Maybe we can divert down here. Let's see how well that works. should be doing this, you know? Then the real question will just be if we end up having too much hydrogen on this loop, and we'll be able to fix that, because we can always split these loops out a little bit if we have to, so we can just split them down here. But I think we're doing okay for now. Alright, let's just, um, I'm just gonna keep going a little bit longer here, and then we should be okay. Now, this is also not a particularly conservative use of space, so we could definitely, um, be a little bit better about our space use if we need to. Uh, or just send in kind of another level. Put something right in here, potentially. So, we'll see. Give it a, give it a little bit of time here. Uh, oh, whoops. I would put that on. It's okay. I'm just going to do that. I'm going to make a bunch more of these. The other thing we can do is also mirror this on the other side, which is not done yet. Lack of I have no more oil refineries. Okay, well, not the end of the world. We'll get there. Uh, okay. Oops, cannot do that. I don't know what I'm thinking. There we go. It's a little bit annoying when you these, it automatically tabs them for you because you're copying them. I'm not quite sure why that is. It's definitely a little bit annoying. Yeah. Uh, what? 
What are you doing? There we go. All right. Filter out hydrogen. Filter out hydrogen. I wonder if you copy these. I thought we did copy them. Clearly, they don't uh, remember what they're filtering out. Obviously, our hydrogen production is not quite hitting the level we want it to be at, but that's okay. You know what? We have plenty of time. We can do something very simple over here as well. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, that's kind of what I was expecting. So we're going to get to a point where we're not sending hydrogen this way. It's only going this way. So we are getting that kind of a net positive here. Alright, so I think that is a great place to stop for today. Uh, hopefully we are beginning to sort out our hydrogen issues. It's, we're definitely not up a hill yet, um, but we will be getting there. Uh, and this is good to kind of have more of a plan. So thank you for joining me. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon, and we will catch you next time.